This is Die Sporting Network. What work? Hey, folks, second half about to get underway here on foot number one. And it's Hanford up one, 29 to 28. Interestingly enough, <laughs> interestingly enough, North Carolina made a run. Bell swung about the chestnut. We're looking inside with it. Float up top, no good. Offensive rebound is the mayor Smith gets the finish to go. Another lead change. 30 to 29 for the Bulldogs. Looking to drive. Spins back out of it. Got it. Another lead change as Kittner gets it to go. 31-30. Back. Floats it. Inside, bat it, stays with the Bulldogs. <laughs> 15 point lead now on court number two from a heights in front. And there. Lead change again, and it is a one point lead for the Bulldogs. Forcing the action here. Shot clock at 20. Foul air. Back to game action here on this one. Who's play here? Let's see. Yeah, if we can take advantage of it. His shot clock at 26. Kittner swings it back. Open three for the lead back. Tipped and missed there. Offensive rebound. Dipped it up. Over and in. So uh, Cackerman, the senior, able to make another lead change. And the Bulls up by one. Open three. Tipped and missed. Right back, the offensive rebound. Whistle. Shot clock needed to be reset, I think. Shot clock reset at 30. Look in, look in. Long pass. Like the chestnut. Swing it back around again. Over the bell. Tried to backdoor it and turned it over instead. Go back to the Bulls and the lead here at one. 33 32. Looking to drive. Swings it. Fakes it. Open three. Tipped and miss. Another offensive rebound and puts it back in. Kinley got it to go. And again, the shot, the shot clock again needs to be reset. Swings it back to Bow. They swing it back around again. Chestnut with it. Bounce pass over to Warner. Shot clock running down to 15. Inside the chestnut. No good. As he tried to shoot it and it was lost. blocked. Five minutes left here in the third. Turnover. And they're all back here to North Carolina. Down by three. On possession. So that, this one will be seen Easton and 
Sussex Tech in the Shore Showcase game. We had a half highlights of that one for you coming up. That one no good. And the rebound back over. Swings it back. Over. Drive, swings it. Open three again. Tipped and missed again. Offensive rebound again. Over the back floater. No good. One more chance. Shooting two. Have it up three. Trying to go up more. Back here to game action now. 37 34 is the score. Both free throws went down for North Carolina. And the lead is we've been through. Inside, block there. Nice block by King. Bow to Chestnut. Blood of the tie. No. Rolls away, no good. Not a queen hole with the rebound. 14, 14. Offensive foul off the ball. Here's Cornwall. And that's his second. That's the team's second as well here in the second half. Two twenty remaining here in the third. Swings it. Open three. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, back in the game action. Effort. 37-34. Two minutes left here in the third. Inside. Rolls away. But Kinsley ain't no good. Chestnut. Looking to shake and bake. Bow. To the basket. He's shooting a pair. It's about to be the end of the third on court number two. And they're at the line as well. And it's a 20 point lead right now. St. Paul's trying to cut into that lead. It might be too little, too late for that. Four. 141 remaining. We'll be right back in that case. Back here in the game action here, the lead down to two. 37 35. <coughs> Looking here. Swings it back. Looking. Looking to drive. Up. No. Walter. Hell ball. Stays with Heifer. Still looking at the clock here. They got an issue with it. But I got the shot clock. As it was a hell ball situation, shot clock at seven. And the game clock at one eight. Other way. Swings it back. Floater up top. Tipped and missed there. Rebound back with 106 remaining here in the third. St. Paul's making a run. They were been 15. And Fairmont Heights called time. 718 left on court two. 
Winners play each other here between the two. The losers play each other there. That's the floater in there for Nicholson. I said, I'm a Kenner with that one. <coughs> Looking. Call to reach in. It's only the fourth team foul on Hampton. Stops in for the Bulls. Long pass back. Chestnut with it. Open three. Oh man. I don't think it was Tip. He just didn't have enough on that arch. Shot clock is off, the game clock at 19 seconds. A little dry, swings it back to Kittner. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, floater, no good. And it will not be in time. A nice one here on court number one and after three. The Hanford Bulls up 39-35, fourth quarter coming back here from the third day of the Governor's Challenge. Night folks, fourth quarter about to get underway. St. Paul's cut into the lead in court number two. They down 13 in that one. We'll keep your brushes going on. We got a four-point lead here on court one as we start the fourth. Here in this one, and Bell back over, swings it around. Back again is Chestnut. Bounce pass. Turn. Fakes it. Up and in. As Walter backed his body in and made that two go. 41-35. Again, turnover in the middle. Numbers here for the Bulls. Drive to the hoop, lays it in. And then eight down eight. Seven oh five here left in the fourth. It's an eight point game. Ah, <laughs> that the game action now. And Bell with the three. He shot a hit a couple early. He was a little short there on that one. Kettner with the rebound. And they swing it back. Fakes it. Looking, looking. Back again to Walter. Shot clock at nine. Looking for that back door. They got it again. Offensive rebound goes in. And they lead the 10 now and for the Bulldogs right now, they're getting patted down in the chokehold here. That's a steal. Back the other way. Inside, layup goes the lead up the double figures now in 12. 6-10 remaining here in regulation time. Bell can't finish there to the basket. Offensive foul. Huge offensive possession here for North Carolina, in my opinion. 555 left, they're down 12. Shot clock again with an issue. Shot clock should be at 20. Fake it. 
Back here to game action now. That is Warner with the ball. Bell, dished inside. Got the roll to go. That was a big bucket there. Lee back within 10. And the winner will play Fairmont Heights. The loser will play St. Paul's. And I like that there's two minutes left. And that one's in the bag for the Hornets over there. Fake sits inside. Walked. Good defense there by North Carolina. It made. Kinsley had to use his body to move still as the defender was on him, and not much he could do. Now Carolina's dragging the ball up. They need a little bit more urgency here. They're down 10 with 5 10 left in this one. And that's a turnover. Floater, all the way up top, and it hits off the back, no good. It's a blocking foul they call. Only two shots on this end. 447 remaining. Can North Carolina cut into this lead? We'll find out in a moment. Both free throws went in. The lead down to eight now. And this one here. Y'all need to stop and a buck. Back. Oh, he could have stolen it. Open three in the corner. In and out. Offensive oh, rebound. Oh, man. Oh, man. Got it again. Oh, man. Hell ball is called. Possession level stays with Hefford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebound and part of the game. Talk about the referee taking off to the house. Heffer gets it back here. 409 left. It's the final one in day three, 76 53, the final. Come on, Heights. One in that one. They'll be in the championship game. <coughs> Excuse me, bracket eight. Shot clock at 14. Oh, Hawk. No good. Finally got the rebound as Bell. Plays up for North Carolina. To the basket, blocked. Stays with the ball. Back here the game action, the one free throw hit. In the lead, the seven. Long pass. Inside, no. Offensive rebound, not there enough for George. Pushing foul against Hefford. It's the one and one. That's the 18th foul on the Bulls. McKellar only has two team fouls on them. In there. Hey, man, 47-41. Three minutes left to lead to six. Second shot rattles out. Bat it back. 
over the back. On the other way. Swings it. Long pass here. Definitely like they're going to run a little clock down. But the shot clock at 14. They have to lead. It's only by six, though. Deep three. No. And it stays with Hanford. And it was touched last by North Carolina. Effort keeps it, 225 remaining here in this one. Whistle here. Down to 20. That's a turnover back the other way. Bow. Kent and missed it wide as well. Two minutes left. They going too long without a fast. Layup goes. Lee back up to eight. Less than two remaining. Push it, the clock. Pull up three. Hits it. He's there by Adams, the freshman. Timeout. And the lead down to five at 135 remaining. We'll be back. Back here to game action now. 135 left. Looking to bring it in. They do. Come on. Only got three fouls here. They need to start fouling. Maybe add to this possession if they can they can stop it, they might be all right. The shot clock at 15. Again, Hefford's gonna run some clock down. Shot clock at seven. Six, five, four, three, dagger. A dagger right in the middle. Get a shot and stop, y'all. Turnover. Oh, that's ding ding. They ding ding. Inside, swings it back. Gonna run some clock down now. 34 seconds left. Shot clock at five. Reversal, no, offensive rebound, Rose in with Hitman. And that might be it. Got to shoot if you bow. Someone's got to shoot it here. Warner, he went for the two. No good, that's going to do it. Hanford and Fairmont Heights with a date. The foul's not going to matter because they only got four. You got to foul three more times. There's only eight seconds left. Ain't enough time. This ain't going to work. And you're down now. Well, it's going to be Fairmont Hanks. Clear out! Get out of the way! Bracket 8. The Bracket 8 winner, we playing first. Over at UMES, and that's a matchup we could be seeing. It'll be Fairmont Heights and Hanford in the final. 53-44, your final 9.1 for the Bulls. And they'll be going against Fairmont Heights. St. Paul's will meet North Carolina in a loser bracket in bracket eight. Short showcase to come. We'll see Eastern in action against Sawaska Tech out of Delaware. We'll have that one in a bit. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?